welcome back to the Lung Coach Asthma Education Home Study Course. This is lesson three where we're going to be talking about measurement of lung function. And the important things to learn about measuring your lung function is what type of measurements the doctor and you might be looking at and which ones you're going to be doing at home on your own to record your daily progress. This not only helps you classify the severity of asthma, but this also helps you and your doctor come up with the treatments appropriate for your level of asthma. Now, <clears throat> some of the measurements we're gonna be looking at uh, are on a spirometer, and your doctor may have you do this in a box, uh, or he may also have what we call a bedside pulmonary function test unit. Anyway, what we might look at is your forced vital capacity, your forced expiratory volume at one second, or your peak expiratory flow rate. Now it's not real important that you remember these terms, but these are the things your doctor is going to be looking at to evaluate the severity of your asthma and where you're at and what kind of treatments are appropriate for you. Uh, <clears throat> this last one, the peak expiratory flow rate, is one you're going to do on your own, and I'm gonna show you how to use one a little later, but this is a daily measurement that you're going to do at home to assess how you're doing with your asthma. And this will also indicate when asthma attacks might be coming, or if you've been experiencing asthma symptoms for a long period of time. So, peak expiratory flow rate is one you're going to use with something called a peak flow meter. <clears throat> this is a very cheap device but a very useful tool in evaluating asthma. As a matter of fact, if you measure on this peak expiratory flow rate less than 50% of either your personal best or predicted value, it may be an emergency and you may need to take your child or yourself to an emergency room because you're having an asthma attack, also known as asthma exacerbation. So once again, we're gonna talk about these a little more in depth, but we're looking at lung function, ones you do in the doctor's office, and then one you do on your own uh, with a peak flow meter. Now, let's talk about forced vital capacity a little bit. <clears throat> this is how much volume you can blow out with one breath. It's a measurement of capacity, how much. Forced expiratory volume at one second is how fast the air is flowing. So if you were to think about water, water flowing through a faucet, you may be going at uh, maybe 10 gallons per minute. Well, in your lungs, we measure it in liters, the metric system, just to throw everybody off like always, but it could be in liters per second. So, this is a very important one that they're gonna look at, so look for that a little, you might do a little research on it, I'm not going in depth in this program because this is for asthma and kids, but if you're a parent who wants to know more about this, uh, these two are the type the doctor is measuring and peak expiratory flow rate is what you're going to help your child or you're going to do on a daily basis to measure lung function. Now, another topic we're going to talk about in this is your peak flow diary. The diary is something you're going to track every day when you do your peak expiratory flow rate. Now, you want to chart this because this is how your doctor can identify different types of allergy triggers, if it's allergic related with seasonal allergies, <clears throat> or if it's occupational, maybe you travel for work and you're exposed to an irritant or a chemical, or if maybe you're having stress. Children also respond to stress related asthma quite often. Um, if there's tension in the home, maybe there's problems going on and the child is stressed out, well this can trigger asthma attacks. So you want to watch for your child's uh, emotional well-being as well for triggers. 
because if they're feeling stressed, they can have asthma attacks. Same with adults as well. Stress is also can be a trigger and should be addressed in asthma education. We don't talk about it a lot, uh, but it is an important thing to look at. But right now we're just talking about the measurement of lung function and this da daily peak expiratory flow rate is what you want to use uh, on a regular basis to assess your lung value. Actually, let me see here. I just remembered I have my demonstration peak expiratory flow rate meter right here. And this is what this device looks like. Sometimes they come just in a little case and they have little measurements there and you can see I already have my red zone my yellow zone and my green zone mapped out for my age and my height so if my peak expiratory flow rate when I blow through is in my zones which your doctor or your RT or your nurse will help you figure out um, then you might determine how well your asthma is if I'm in my red zone I might need to go to the hospital or urgent care my yellow zone, I might just need to take an albuterol treatment, or I might have to take a um, rescue inhaler. And, you know, I'm just try to get in the shot here. And if I'm in my green zone, that means my asthma is well controlled. So just to demonstrate real quick on a, a technique, you're going to do the best of three with this peak flow meter. <clears throat> And you want to stand up when you do this because you can take the biggest breath and blow out appropriately. So sitting down hunched over, it's difficult. But if you just take a deep breath, oh yeah, so I'm well into my green zone. I don't know if you can see that little mark there means I'm in my green zone. But let's say my asthma, I'm having shortness of breath or I'm wheezy and I do my peak flow meter and it's, and I'm like, I can't move my measurement out of the red zone. That could be an emergency. You should call your doctor, call the urgent care, make, a, make an appointment to go right away. Uh, that's a very bad place to be for your child or you with asthma management. So this peak flow meter is a very important tool uh, this is a Philips Respironic one. I think they're $18 online on Amazon. You can order them, or you might even be able to get them from your doctor. So ask him about a peak flow meter. This is one of the measurements of lung function for asthmatics. Very important tool, very easy. Take it with you. When you travel, take it with you. If you have severe asthma, you know, if, you're, if you get in this less than 50% of your personal best, it could be an emergency, a life-threatening situation. So. Be sure to use that tool, it's very useful. And in the next lesson, we're going to be talking about environmental allergens, so allergy-related asthma. So join me on lesson four. Thank you.